Hey, honey? Yeah, what's up? I'm Fen. I'm Laura. And this is Respira, a cooking show where we choose a cookbook, open to a page at random, and make what it says. And tonight we're making bread and butter pudding. And this comes from uh, the recipes of the British Isles. All right. Well, let's uh, show them the ingredients. Okay. All right. So we're going to use a teaspoon of nutmeg a teaspoon of cinnamon, we got five eggs, four cups of milk, half a cup of sugar, cup of raisins, and one homemade French loaf all cubed up. All right, let's put this together. First thing I'm going to do, give my raisin a shake to get that broken out. Now I'm going to grab my cinnamon. I'm going to put a teaspoon of cinnamon in with my raisins. I'm going to give it another good shake. Now if you didn't, weren't going to be using like the whole cup you got left in your raisin box, you're going to want to do this in a bowl, maybe a little baggy, just to get some good cinnamon coating on your raisins. Alright, cinnamon's all shook up. Oh, one other ingredient I forgot is you're going to need some melted butter. I had mine in the microwave, just to melt it down. That and... Pastry brush. And ooh, make sure you get your all your paper off your butter. That's that's not good eats. Let's throw that away. Alright, take your pastry brush and we're just going to lube up the entire inside of this casserole dish. You got a good coating of butter all over the place. You know, it's time to set the butter aside. <clears throat> Grab a big bowl of bread crumb of cube bread. We're gonna look to make an even layer all across the bottom of this. set our bread for you over to the side, grab a mixing bowl, and in that mixing bowl we're going to put a teaspoon of our nutmeg, and we're going to crack in our five eggs. One egg, two eggs, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. three eggs, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. four eggs, ah, 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 five, five eggs, ha, ha, ha. All right, grab your whisk. Get all that nutmeg incorporated off the bottom. Get our 
sugar in here along with our four cups of milk. I just want to make sure this is four cups, so. Yeah. Hoping there might be a little bit of this milk left over for coffee in the morning. One cup. Two cups of milk. Three cups of milk. Oh, four cups of milk. Just a tiny little splash to save for the wife for her breakfast in the morning. Abby, honey. Thank you. I'm right. gonna get this mixed up and incorporated. Up. Oh. We're going to pour this over our bread and get our raisins. And if you got any big clumps of raisins like that, you just break them up with your fingers, redistribute them where they should go. And then we're going to pour our mixture into our casserole dish. this bread to get a chance to soak up this goodness so I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 while I let this sit somewhere that's cat proof it has hiding that in the microwave it's gonna set a timer about 10 minutes just to let that soak in and I'll let my oven get hot. Then we're going to bake that for right. now. I'll be back for the next step. It's a little complicated. It involves some aluminum foil and and the basting brush of butter. So I'll be right back. All right. So bread pudding still in the in the protectiveness of the microwave. And I'm just going to take. Basting brush and my butter, a melted stick of butter, and I'm just coating the foil with the butter because, much like a quiche and other egg confectionery kind of things, this bread pudding is going to rise up a little bit. We don't want it to stick to the tin foil because. The first cooking step, we're going to put this into our oven. Oven's going to already preheated to 350 degrees. So this is going to help steam and cook for the first leg of its journey in the oven. And of course, like I said, a good buttery sheen on there keeps it from sticking to this. So in 30 minutes, I'm going to open the oven up and pull this off and it's going to look totally clean. And you're going to see that in just a moment of truth. Got it out of the oven and oh yeah, nothing stuck to the top of that. Nothing at all. All right. Now we're going back into the oven with this for another 30 minutes. Okay, we have one more step before we can dive in for the first bite and that is to take what's left of our stick of melted butter. We're just going to drizzle that over the top because that's what makes this a bread and butter bread pudding. Let's get all that buttery goodness right over the top. I think my wife is going to count this as my sweet for the month. All right, time for the first bite. It's really hot. Oh, 
It said to serve hot. Doesn't have any whiskey sauce, but that's damn good. It is. Yeah, I mean, the other one, the whiskey sauce, that is so good. But yeah, this is. Air fryer cookbook for next week. Stop. Mm, one or two? Mm, two. Popcorn tofu. Popcorn tofu? Oh, like popcorn shrimp or, pop, or popcorn chicken. I guess so, yeah. Like breaded little pieces. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I had a like popcorn tofu, like popcorn, popcorn. <laughs> I had a little brain, <laughs> that was like my brain slipping a little bit like I did last week where I was thought that we were going to be making Yorkshire pudding. That's why I was doing the whole, you can't have your pudding, how can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? Okay. Oh. Um, yeah. That makes more sense. It makes much more sense. Okay, so join us next week for some popcorn tofu. <laughs> Okay, thanks for joining us tonight, and we'll see you next time. Definitely, go make yourself some bread pudding. This is bread and butter bread pudding. This is amazing. Again, thanks a lot for joining in and tuning in every week. It means a lot. Peace. Bye, everybody. We have a... Hey, everybody. Thanks for staying till the end of the episode. Uh, remember to like, share, air, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook at Board Barista Productions. And if you want to support us, Patreon link at the bottom. <laughs>